all those who are also holding the co-host as well such as our speaker you can also record this session on your own yeah throughout the crowd okay so now please state uh, in today's comment section how are you actually viewing because the speaker probably might be asking you some questions and would like to see how you are going to respond it through the chat probably you might need some time so if you are using probably like a projected screen or like a desktop put a or b if you are viewing through your laptop put c if you are viewing through your mobile put d Okay, so we have uh, Prashant Kumar through D. All right. Okay, great. So looks like we have majority on to C. So we would be also be able to get uh, some fast replies because we are able to open up the chat box. While some people using um, like tablets or mobile, you might need some time with, with some other clickings and everything. So for us to take note, uh, your reply might be a little bit slower, but no worries. We'll wait on, uh, hold on for you at some points. Yeah. Okay, so we've already shared this already. What is your background? But if just in case, uh, if you haven't shared, you would like to share, please put into the comment section area yeah your name your age what are you majoring or uh caring uh what's your profession and also your location and also your email so that we can network with each other uh, instead of putting it into the group chat we can also uh, put it into the whatsapp because i believe everyone is there in whatsapp as well so today we have our four different program flow we've already done our intro and welcoming uh, we'll move on to the speaker session later on and then we'll have an open q a where you'll be able to ask samantha all kinds of questions regarding personal branding um for beginners for linkedin yep and then we'll do some closing and updates by some of our local apex board members yep so just a very quick introduction about who am I. My name is Daniel. Uh, for all those who are also islanders like me, woohoo, go Penang, good food. All right, okay. I'm, I'm not saying that other parts of Malaysia are not good. Oh, Prashan, don't lie, shake your head. Uh, okay, all right. So I'm a certified TTT trainer. I love traveling, meeting new people and food as well. If you haven't realized, um, at times, in fact, most of the time, I love talking. Lah, huh? That's why most of the time they put me as moderators. Okay, so these are some of my niche training and workshop uh, skills. Yep. Um, and also, I'm a coach, consultant, and also trainer as well. Um, my own personal objective and it implements uh, together with, uh, for example, with Apex Penang. That's why I'm doing for the entrepreneurship director and also for the youth development. My 2019 and 2020 goals uh, were also being carried forward together with 2021 because I what we want to do is that we want to implement empowerment, enhance skill and talent development and creating a safe space. That's why we created like this networking session. Um, this was in conjunction with Ivan. Uh, shout out over to Ivan who who was also um, the entrepreneur director for 2020 and 2021 as well yep okay so if you like to know more about me you can always click onto my facebook page this is a new business page but you can also follow me on linkedin as well uh, these are some of the past programs that i've actually done as well but most of all do not forget to click the like button on apex penang group yeah hit the like button so that you can be able to see what are the current updates that we have so there are some house rules that we would like you to follow yep we would like to encourage each and every one of you to follow for example house rule number one is keep the energy re to be recycled so keep the group chat um up and going yep samantha would love to get your engagement from you and if you have any questions at all throw in your questions at any time that's rule number one rule number two is be respectful why we're we asking you to be respectful because we have different age of groups of people over here people from different walks of life and people from different backgrounds that uh, as well so we're here to network and connect with each other remember everyone comes from different perspective and different walks of life so uh, what we like to train is that train on our listening skills because most people do not listen with the intent to understand they listen with the intent to reply so let's try to understand each other as well Yep. Now, rule number three is express yourself. If you get your webcam on, uh, please express yourself, especially when you speak. The only thing we would uh, encourage you to do is that if you're going to go to the washroom, don't carry us together with you. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, some key Zoom features for all those who just join in. There are some key Zoom features for Zoom. So if you, for all those who are using your laptop, what you see below over here, you have um, all this audio. The audio settings over here, you have your microphone. Um, if it's slashed, means it's muted. If it's unslashed, means it's unmuted. Yep, same with your webcam as well. If you see the slash on the webcam, means it, your webcam is off. If you don't see the slash, means your webcam is on. For all those who are not familiarized with it. 
Yep. And also you have um some things onto your chat box as well. Just a moment, yeah. Okay, yes, your chat box. Okay, great. Yes, so if you want to click on to your to see your your chat, just a moment, my apologies. Okay, so if you want to take a look onto your chat, uh, is very easy and convenient for you. Just click onto that participant list over there, and also at the same time you can click onto that chat list. And if you like to raise up your hands or give a certain reaction, use that reaction button for all those who are using your desktop or laptop. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, of course, there again, if you want to switch your your chats. For example, your participants uh, list and also your chat list right now. Click onto the merge windows and once when you click those merge windows, your chat box and participant should move over to your right hand side. So it doesn't block your view. And if you want to constantly monitor onto the chat, this is what you could do. All right. Now, but if you like to change your view as well, if you see your top right, there is the view button. You have two types of view. One is the speaker view and one is the gallery view. Yep. So in order for you to get the speaker view, if you want to focus purely onto Samantha, click that speaker view link. If you want to go for gallery view, this is what you'll be able to see. Yep. For all those who like to see everyone. Okay. Now, what about for mobile? What can you actually do for mobile is basically very simple. Click that three dots on your bottom right. You'll be able to have that um, panel options to come up and if you have any questions at all you can click that raise hand feature and we will feature you during the session yeah so do not forget to clap thumbs up give lots of love smile and also enjoy the whole entire session with us so at the end of the day most importantly is keep an open mind have fun and ask as many questions as possible and if you are ready put ready into the chat box okay awesome all right great okay so um for all those who just really tune in uh let's start with the introduction before we host the whole entire thing uh we would like to invite the uh president apex club of penang she is the secretary of honorary uh consul of hungary and whole many other titles she's none other than manisha lin so uh president would you like to just do an opening for us Paging in for President Manisha. Are you there with us? Um, Daniel, sorry. Earlier, I saw that Manisha had actually left to this one. Oh, okay. I think uh, her internet, he got, she got dropped out. Yeah. Okay, no worries. Um, what we'll do is, uh, Edward, would you like to you just jump in uh, on behalf of Manisha just to give maybe some opening uh, statements or um, to welcome all our current participants? Sure, sure, sure. Why yeah, not? so uh, for all those who are not wearing glasses, um, this is Edward, this is not uh, Manisha, yeah? Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look so much different from her. Okay, welcome all the uh, participants. Uh. It's actually uh, thankful to Samaritan for uh, hosting, I mean, to be the speakers of this event. Uh, the main purpose is actually Apex, uh, when I like to uh, call engage uh, Jufa. That's why we have the entrepreneurship uh, for the youth, even scholarship for university, and uh, and also how we can uh, help those uh, up and coming uh, youth. Uh, you know, some just left the school or I'm in the college and are waiting for jobs and some you have uh, wanted to do two jobs, you know, and um, <clears throat> some they have the talents, but they don't have the finance. We do have so many, and uh, this is where we can uh, come in, come in and help out. And most important, uh, actually, uh, the future actually belongs to all the youth, uh, the communities of uh, of Malaysia, and also Penang. Also, like to uh, Apex to have group to have more uh, young, uh, uh, young uh, what they call entrepreneurs. Uh, even those uh, educations and uh, to have what they call uh, close link. Uh, one way or the other, we can uh, also can help out. Uh, and also, uh, we're doing all these web panels is actually uh, to educate, to promote, and also uh, 
uh, see uh, you know some is uh, even I myself I may I may not be familiar with all this I still want to learn because there's no stop learning and once you stop you'll be like dinosaur we have to go you know uh, make ourselves young and always uh, young at heart you know my heart is only 30 physically I may look uh, a bit uh, what I call <laughs> matured I don't say I'm old uh, I'm a bit more matured so uh, I think that's all and uh, let's move on to the speaker the show is, is on you now <laughs> thanks edward okay so just a very quick one for all those uh just to add on a little bit about uh what probably you have might have actually missed out um uh, we have done multiple programs before um <clears throat> these are some of the sessions such as ah okay so since michael is here yes uh we did our first session uh with michael that is why you should convert your traditional business to online yep and also we had the second one where we spoke a lot on to mental health we had uh brian john Dere, who is also a member of befrienders penang and also a mental health activist yep we also had uh ravin uh ravin came in he also shared with us the new global crisis in cyber crime and also we had a how to speak 101 so just to top up what Edward has mentioned our goal when we conduct this program is that we want to cover all kinds of diverse topics on to different kind of platforms um, that's why we have different kind of topics if you can see not just fixated onto one uh, we hope that you guys can network with each other and through this diversity we hope that we give you some options for right selections and also solutions as well uh, more importantly is we want to create opportunity that's why networking for us is very very important because right now internationally we can um, through zoom we have uh, sometimes we have uh, international participants and this would be the best way for us to connect not just locally but internationally as well most importantly we want you to treat this space like a safe space all right so let's just bring our speaker today samantha samantha yes you're here and i see behind over there with the big s and the sub like b franchisee today can you share with us more about yourself and also your background and and what should we be excited and uh, expect for today's session with you i shall begin with sharing my screen give me a second okay See my screen here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hi all. Thank you, FX Binan, for having me today. Shout out to Daniel for reaching out to me. My name is Samantha. And since it has been a long day to all of you, allow me to make it sweet and simple with a storytelling format on how I leverage on LinkedIn for my career. Now, before I start on the how-to part, right? How many of you here are already using LinkedIn? Type me in the chat room if you already done so. And if you are yet to be on LinkedIn, type no. Let me also check chat room yeah? wow there's a lot of people that already start using uh, being in. no worries Edward please within all right okay so it is good for you to understand about my background you know from my day job with Subway Malaysia particularly for the northern and east coast region and as well as the chapter lead with Google Business Group. So don't worry, I promise it will be very casual and light, easy to digest. Do pay attention to the background sharing as it will help you to understand why I do it and how I do it. I was born in Raytown Typing and based in Penang for work. And I lead the business development with Subway Malaysia for the Northern and East Coast region. So I take care of regions like Perlis, Kedah, Langkawi, Penang, Perak, Kelantan, and Terengganu. And as a disclaimer here, all the information that I'm sharing today are solely based on my journey with Subway. And uh, yeah, so 
I do phone calls and you know filtering leads who are interested to become our next franchisee. So this was taken during my in-house training with Subway when I am not wearing my business development hat. And please don't the charm because that time the pandemic has not decided to say hi to us, which is why you don't see us practicing social distance or wearing masks in the picture. Um, when I'm not doing my sales call, right, I help my franchisee owner with leasing and tenancy agreement. So I have to be very careful with all the terms and clause to make sure that my franchisee are well taken care of. Let's say if there is any dispute arise with their landlord in future. Jumping into business negotiation is also part of my job. Because say, for example, if my franchisee is not able to negotiate for their rental reduction from the rent landlord, be it mall or shop lot, I will step in and represent them for the negotiation. I remember this um, particularly because it was a memorable trip that I have to make the next day traveling down to a different region to solve the concern of my franchisee behalf. Other than that, other than doing you know, business negotiation, I also help Subway with install marketing where I work with a lot of uh, third-party delivery like Foodpanda, GrabFood, uh, Mula, Polo, Hungry, and even Asia Food currently. I enjoy working and getting the best deal with all these market players. And along the way, you will meet different kind of personalities and you'll be amazed on how they actually help you to think without a box. I also enjoy doing site evaluation where I'll be traveling to check out if there is any you know, new potential location that we can open a subway stop, checking out traffic and if there is any nearby QSR. Let me take a pause for a while here. Anyone here has the chance to like stop my LinkedIn before today's sharing? Just put at the chat room. Let me just check. Well, if you do, right, you have one same question. When you check out my LinkedIn profile, right, you will also see my title as the chapter lead for Google Business Group. So the question is that, am I working with Subway and Google at the same time? My day job will be with Subway. GBG, Google Business Group, is my community building involvement. GBG is a group of uh, passionate volunteers who share knowledge about Google Web Technologies for business owners, entrepreneurs, startups, job seekers, and even women. GBG work as a value added to me because um, where I learn all these digital skills to guide my franchisee, especially during the pandemic. So helping business owners not only to grow, but to rebuild and recover their business as well. I am not going to lie because being in f and line, right, as you are aware, there is uh, previously there is no dine-in allowed, so business would be badly affected. But I always believe that there is something that we can do. So the picture right here is our Google annual event, which is called DevFest and BizFest, Developer Festival and Business Festival, where we used to flew in industry top leaders locally and globally to add value to our community. Under GBG, there is also a Woman Wheel, which is a Grow with Google program that focuses on helping women to grow and succeed. We have four teams under Woman Wheel, as you can see on the screen right here, leadership, entrepreneurship, inclusive workplace, and digital literacy. Now that you have understand my background, right, and what I do, so how do I position myself, you know, by leveraging on LinkedIn for an exceptional career as sub-member and as well as Google Business Group chapter lead? You have to ask yourself, you have to have clarity on, you know, what kind of message you want to deliver, first of all, to the public because everyone here has their own niche on how you can brand yourself or try to think of what you want to be known of. It could be a professional accountant. It could be a professional educator. It could be someone who is good with numbers. 
advertising like Herman and share a lot of information about business management as well. So for Samantha, right, for my case, these are the message that I want to deliver and to be known of. Samantha is a business franchise go-to person. She talks about entrepreneurship. She has leadership to unlock your inner self entrepreneur and she is good in marketing. So in my LinkedIn profile, as you can see, you can clearly see that the usage of green and yellow, which represent the color of Subway. So underneath my name, you can see the headline of Subway Franchise Business and Google Business Group. So you can see how I position myself there. So this is important when you comment on someone else's post because your title will appear. Let me show you in the next slide. So this is what I meant earlier. I commented on Chen Chao, which, who is the co-founder of Faith post earlier. Can you see the headline here? At a glance, people who is in my second and third connection would have a clear idea what I do. By the way, if you are not aware or if you're not familiar with LinkedIn, second and third connection means those people that are yet to connect with you or follow you on LinkedIn. So another tips for our students and you know for those that who is yet to start on LinkedIn today, LinkedIn is a platform where you don't have to make any appointment. Skip the queue and chat directly with the co-founder or the CEO of the company. So for students, it's like speaking to your chancellor or vice chancellor, get it? Remember in the earlier slide that I mentioned, I want to be known of as you know, a business go-to person when it comes to business franchise. So my posting would actually narrow towards that direction. Post like, you know, what is business risk? How to handle them where I talk about, you know, different type of business risk. And for those who is not aware, being in the F&B line, right, the turnover is actually quite high. So post like, you know, how to hire the right employee every time would be really helpful to provide an insight to business owners, entrepreneurs, and also startups. I have also posted on how you can actually manage a business negotiation and master the skills. So bear in mind that I am not just writing for my own franchisee to read, but to all business owners as well. So in LinkedIn, right, always begin in mind with posting something that would actually add value to others. I have also added, like, met a lot of new and potential franchisee that ask me, Sam, so how do I choose a successful business location? Based on my experience, I wrote a post on, you know, what to look for, and share what are the metrics to identify a good location. Because at the end of the day, if your business is not good, then there is no point to start your business there in the first place, right? Also remember to share from your experience and your feelings, because remember that someone who read your post is also someone else's children and parents at the end of the day. You can be a well-known CEO for your company, but at the same time, you are also your, your children's mom, your children's dad. So I wrote a post on how I help a mom who does not know how to read English, thus she does not know how to make the order. And what I learned about business needs when I am taking care of my mother in the hospital. So from having conversation with a pharmacist about adult diaper, I learned about customer needs and requirements. So in short, be yourself and share from your own feelings and also experience. You also want to position yourself you know, as a person with business knowledge in my case. So here are some really good magazines and books that I read, including 101 Secret of Having a Business and a Life. So up to this point, right, you will start to realize I have not posted anything about you know how much does a subway franchisee cost and things like that i mean you wouldn't like if my post like right to your face telling you okay uh herman daniel ipp this is how much a subway franchise will cost so it looked very salesy to me and i dislike it so 
um, I wouldn't post like, you know, every day like, okay, Subway is good. Subway is better. Things like that. So instead of going towards that direction, I focus more on bringing value to the community in Haiti. And of course, sekali sekala, once a while, you can post about fun things like this. Third person, you tag, would need to blanja you eight mayo. Make it fun and interactive. So the picture on the right was our CSR program with Adventist Hospital Penang to gain some funding for patients who need to undergo major surgeries. So this kind of post, right, works as a brand reminder for your audience. Okay, everyone doing okay so far before I continue? All good? All right. Okay, let me just proceed. Okay, I have shared with everyone here on my direction for Subway. And now this is for Google Business Group GDG. I want to be seen as you know, a community builder, someone who used digital skills to help business owners, entrepreneurs to grow their business, and the go-to person if you have any question about Google tools. Here, I was invited to be one of the judges for business pitching challenge alongside with judges from Magic, uh, business investment, finance parties, such as Cousin Ventures, using my business expertise and digital skills to pick the winner for the business pitching challenge. And the organizer for this event actually found me in LinkedIn. So here's another tip for all of you here, the usage of hashtag. Let me quickly show you in my next slide, yeah? Okay, can you see the hashtag here? Use minimum three, to maximum nine hashtag in your post. You can install Chrome extension to LinkedIn hashtag to see how many followers for each of the hashtag that you want to use. Um, I know some of you here is thinking, Alama, all this all, I just pakai tembak, I need my hashtag, right? In my Facebook, in my Instagram, but in LinkedIn, as a professional platform, you want to play this game wisely which would potentially land you on something big. Let me show you. I ran a quick uh, run through earlier this morning, and these are the numbers of followers for hashtag uh, leadership, which is 3 million, and what, 22 million? I don't even know how to read it for entrepreneurship. All right? So you would want to put all these big, big hashtag in your post. Some... Um, recruiter, uh, job recruiter, uh, HR, is actually searching for hashtag instead of your name or that position. So sometimes you would like to, you know, just put uh, hashtag HR or human resource that would really help you to, you know, get, the, get closer to your next employer in future. Last but not least, I have also received a lot of speaker invitation to cover topics like, you know, Google My Business, Google Trends, and how you can get your business discovered in Google Maps and Google Search, SEO, and many, many more through LinkedIn. Okay, as you can see here, 100x Entrepreneur, Rotary Clubs. I know this will be a major concern for you here, but Sam, I'm still studying. I'm just a student and or I'm starting new where and how can I start? Fret not because everything we do and encounter brings a significant meaning in our life. It may not make sense to you right now, but in future, when you look back, you'll be very thankful. So even though you're still studying, you can be very active in committee club, like, you know, Rotary, in speaking engagement, or even in your student club, right? giving, you know, maybe giving free financial, personal financial talk or uh, get in touch with lecture service like recently, uh, what one of my uh, students did for mental awareness. In LinkedIn, under experience column section, put all this involvement and decorate them as colorful as you can. If you did some volunteer job, put all that in under volunteer experience section as well. You can check out my LinkedIn profiles, Meta Tang, 
to have an idea how I do it with my past volunteer experience while I'm still in my uni last time. For example, when I was still in uni, I joined TEDx Penang Road earlier. So put all this in, decorate them as colorful as you can. Before I end my sharing today, here are some of the key takeaway I want to leave you with. So talk to your friends, you know, your classmate, your roommate, your family member to gain clarity on what is your strength. And eventually this will help you to be clearer on your direction. Remember in the earlier slide that I shared, I'm from Taipei earlier, very peaceful rain town, very peaceful place for retirement. My point is that it doesn't matter where you are from. What matters the most is that how you want or what you want to plan for your direction and strategize your branding. Lastly, make time to gain more experience while you're still young, all right? So if you need to talk or if you have a question after my sharing today, here are my contacts. Feel free to scan the QR code and connect with me in LinkedIn. I look forward to get in touch with you in LinkedIn and thank you very much. Thank you. All right, awesome sharing. <clears throat> I I got a few awesome tips from Samantha from today's sharing. If you guys did um, put tips in the comment section, yeah, so that now uh, we also know that you got some awesome tips and also some awesome insights about LinkedIn. Um, all right, good, very very okay. <laughs> okay, I I I see uh, Samantha putting in. If okay, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, what we're gonna do right now is that we're gonna move into part three, yeah, part three for today's session. Um, thanks Sam for sharing with us um a little um more of the insights, but let's do towards our part three for today's session, and the part three is we are gonna move on to the Q and A session with Sam. So if you have any questions about your personal um LinkedIn or some other tips that she did not cover, this would be your best time to throw out. But on Sam, I have a question about hashtags here. Yeah? Now, um, as I search online, um, they kind of advise that for hashtags to use, uh, it would be advisable to use about three to five hashtags. Three um, to nine, it, to yeah, be uh, exact. Yeah, maximum put nine hashtags. Maximum nine, not five, yeah? No. Okay, uh, why? Why um, maximum nine or why uh, minimum three? Why shouldn't one person only use like one hashtag? But why also a person cannot use more than nine? What will happen if an individual like me would, if I were to post more than nine hashtags? Uh, first of all, why minimum three is that if you put one or two, it's sort of like you didn't really leverage on the power of hashtag. So, I would advise that you create one for your personal branding. In my case, it will be hashtag submenta because it relates to Subway, right? So create one for your personal branding, then leverage on general hashtag like entrepreneurship, leadership, business, uh, human resource, HR. Just type HR or human resource or even the position of uh, the one that you want to apply so that when people search for this hashtag in LinkedIn, it will help to land them on your profile. So somehow you will stood up from the rest of the candidates. And why nine hashtag is because it is the rules of uh, from LinkedIn that if you put more than nine hashtags, your engagement rate percentage will be going down. So try to limit your hashtag between three to nine maximum. Mm, okay, so. I, I have been using LinkedIn um, also for quite a bit right now. Mm -hmm. And like, for example, when I put training, hashtag training, mm -hmm. they will come up with a few other suggestions. True. Like training development, training this, training, mm -hmm. um, those kind of things. They help you to fill up to make your hashtag either longer or shorter or something much more ideal. Now, with all those kind of uh, options for those hashtags, mm -hmm. um, tags, what would be a suitable hashtag how, how would you know that which hashtag is suitable for you and what would be a good title for all those hashtags um that's actually a very valid and good question daniel 
um, as I shared just now earlier on, you can actually install this Chrome extension in your laptop to really find out like um, how much people, how many people are actually using that particular, say for example, like the, the one that you mentioned, hashtag training, right? With that Chrome extension, you can actually see, compare like tra hashtag training versus hashtag training mentor, for example. So see which one is higher, use the one with higher people that is using. So somehow when people look for that hashtag, right, your post will show up to them. So play it wisely. Yeah. Could you um, share with us again what's the Chrome extension? Uh, you can just look for, you can just Google for um, LinkedIn hashtag extension. Yeah. All right. So for all those who actually miss it, it is LinkedIn hashtag extension. Yeah. Uh, add it into your Chrome extension. Um, thanks, Sam, for that tip. All right. Great. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, for all those who have any questions over here, um, you can always throw out. For example, we have Ivan over here. Thank you so much for that question. You can put it into that chat box or you can always use the raise up hands feature. Yeah. Uh, for all those who do not know how to use the raise up hands feature, if you're using your desktop or laptop, it's on your reaction button. For all those who are using uh, mobile phones is on your bottom right where that three dot is click on to that three dot and then you'll be able to see that raise up hands feature okay so um samantha another question from ivan yeah mm -hmm. uh, hi sam uh, first he gave a comment hi sam thanks for sharing and comes towards this question may i know what is the main difference between facebook and linkedin uh, linkedin more for professional and work related what is your comment on that First of all, any digital marketer here? I think Mike, right? Mike Chong. <laughs> is he still here with us? Yes, I guess he is in. Mike, Mike, Mike Chong, are you there, Mike Chong? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Sorry. What do you think is the difference between Facebook and LinkedIn? <laughs> oh, okay. So you basically, have to run digital marketing also. Right, well. right. Yeah. So Facebook actually is a social network for. Social network for socializing generally, like, you know, friends and, and, and all that, right? But when you go to LinkedIn, it's more for business. It's to make serious connections. So if you were to post a cat photo or what you have eaten today on LinkedIn, people tell you, uh, hey, brother, sister, uh, please go back to Facebook. Okay, because Facebook is where you share all these things with your friends. It's a social network. Okay, remember social network for socializing. But when you go to LinkedIn, it's more for business connections. It's more for the um, building network, right? It's not all, all serious all the time. But the main intention is to build business network. So to me, that is the clear difference between the both. Mm, okay, echoing to Mike, right? Okay, to me, I agree and disagree at the same time. Disagree when um, you can also post your cat photo, your food photo in LinkedIn. But always ask yourself, what is the purpose of you posting the cat photo or the food photo in LinkedIn? Do you want to um, bring more value to the community in LinkedIn? Or you just purposely, okay, just share. If you just share it, you know, just for people to like your post and things like that, do it in Facebook. But for LinkedIn, over the years, when I first started my LinkedIn journey, right, I have to be honest, it's just a platform for me to look for job. But now over the years, it has turned to different platform where you can um, build your personal branding. You can post your cat photo, your food photo, but at the same time, what is the purpose of you posting that? Have clarity when you want to post something in LinkedIn. Because LinkedIn is a professional uh, platform. You can either get a lot of good engagement at the same time, you can also expose yourself to those, you know, keyboard warriors. So be extra cautious when you are using uh, LinkedIn to post your material. So I hope that answer your question, Ivan. Okay, yes, um, Ivan. Yes, Samantha is right. Always be clear of your intention. Thank you, Mike, for that comment. And thank you so much, Ivan, for that question. Uh, if any one of you have any questions, uh, please kindly put it into the chat box or use that recent feature. Uh, my apologies because I am not able to see everyone on screen. So the 
the resubmit feature will really really help us um especially the co-host um all those who are co-hosts please uh help to just take note on who has their hands up uh we'll we are actually monitoring onto the participants list and also the chat list as well so speaking about different platforms i know that we are we're over here speaking about um uh, linkedin yeah sam but let, let's speak about um let's just say if someone is in the logistic industry marketing industry um maybe in the sales medical industry or so yeah medical yes not forgetting medical industry um okay so how would you know that which platform would be more suitable for your business to post your marketing because just now uh, we came towards like Facebook or LinkedIn, yeah? Uh, does Instagram actually help? Does um, Facebook actually help? Should your captions on your LinkedIn be different compared to on Facebook, uh, Instagram or other different platforms? I would say, of course, uh, when it takes you so much time and effort just to cook up one single content, always repurpose your content to different, different platforms. It can be Twitter, TikTok, or Facebook, Instagram, and things like that. So the tone in LinkedIn could be fun, but at the same time, proper and professional. But when the tone of the same exact content in Facebook and Instagram, it will be more, you know, more to fun tone instead of like professional tone. And to answer to Manisa's question, is LinkedIn good, good to promote NGO? Yes, definitely. If you have... um. A company profile because in LinkedIn there is two different profile that you can actually set up. One is the company profile, another one is your individual personal profile. So if you want to promote FX uh, Club, FX Penang, I would say you can create that company profile in LinkedIn. But the main thing is people follow people, people don't follow company. So my suggestion is that maybe Manisha, you can brand yourself as the certain position for FX Penang. And then people, when people follow you, people will eventually follow FX Penang company profile in LinkedIn. So another good example is that if you are looking at uh, Tony Fernandez, CEO of AAsia, you will realize that the number of followers in his uh, personal LinkedIn profile is actually much higher than the company profile of AAsia. So people always follow people. People always buy from people that they trust. So you have to start building your brand personal because people don't buy from the company. Of course, yes, if your company um, reputation is so good, of course, people will look at, at your company profile, but people always buy from people that they know. So word of mouth is social. Uh, one of the platform and the tools that is very important. So when you build your um, branding in LinkedIn, people will actually start, hey, check out Samantha's profile. She's very good in, you know, franchisee, not only for a subway and things like that. So everything you do, think of um, one step higher, like one day, for example, if I am planning to switch my career, will I be known as, will I, am I attached with the certain brand that I'm working with right now? Or people actually looking at my skills and the talent that I have. So do bear that in mind. Everything you do for a longer term, for a long game. So yes. Thank you for sharing, uh, Samantha. Uh, we we have hi, another Angela. comment over here by Angela. Yeah, hi, Angela. Yes, personal branding comes before company branding. Oh, I have two more questions, personal questions um, that may be beneficial towards uh, our audience today. But let's go with Herman. Herman has his hands up. Yes, Herman. Uh, you're still muted, yeah, Herman? Hi, can you hear me? Yes, all right. Hi, Samantha. Yeah, thanks for sharing. Uh, just going back to the question about using LinkedIn for personal more than casual. Because I've noticed there was recently a post by one of the uh, 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 what call this fast food company guy mm -hmm. who got bad comments because he started posting uh, things about himself on uh, LinkedIn. Mm -hmm which uh, showed about him and his wife, how they got together and stuff. Mm -hmm. 
I think you will know the brand as well. Yes, I commented on that brand. <laughs> <laughs> so there were negative uh, comments. Really? Talk. I don't realize Do that though. Yeah, there were a lot of, lot of negative okay. comments. Uh, not from Malaysian, but from overseas as well. Ah, I, okay. I'm not sure, probably uh -huh. from competing brands. So how do you actually manage these negative comments? If mm. there is such like, maybe you have experienced it before? Or yes, of course. I, ignore I, it? I, yes, of course, because I make it to the Kacham status before this where when I post about uh, looking for the right employee, some of the HR company actually come and boom my post. But uh, how do you actually handle all this? Because um, banyak udang, banyak garam, banyak orang, banyak ragam. So you can't actually like shut their mouth, but you can, act, you can react professionally by making friends with them. Maybe you can reply like, hey, thanks uh, for your comment. Can I know, can I understand further why do you have such, you know, thoughts uh, or, or comment? Then you can just PM them, make friends with them. Then sometimes it's, um, it's yes, it's hard to control what people want to comment on our post, right? For me, never, never delete their negative comment because it will bring more harm to you after that. It's like, you know, you bombarded certain airline company for not returning your, you know, <laughs> So we, to me, I don't, personally, I don't delete, but I make friends with them. I try to understand why they have that perspective and why they have different, different uh, thoughts. And for me, I always welcome all this healthy debate. I call it healthy debate because sometimes when I'm in that circle, I wouldn't really think of, you know, what is happening around me. So it's good sometimes people posting or commenting something out from your comfort zone but do uh, make friends with them, understand their point of view, rather than delete their comment. That is very, very, a big no-no for me. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for asking that question, Herman. Um, I, I hope that uh, answers your question. And thank you, Sam, for the explanation. Um, yeah, a a Angela has a comment over here. Um, So-called haters, sometimes it's just interpretation of individuals. Uh, misinterpretation, people reading uh, it with a different tone than you have intended. Um, anyway, so uh, Angela is a um, habit strategist coach. Yeah, So if you would like to get connected with uh, Angela, uh, you can also get her connected in the business networking group chat as well. So um, Ng Wei Ming has a question over here. Hi Sam, LinkedIn, do we need to be humble or should share all our achievements uh, for freshie like me? Jaden or Wei Ming, that's actually quite a, a very valid question because to me, if it's a fact, it is not a brag. So don't be shy or belittle yourself just share all your achievement in your LinkedIn because you never know your future employer will be looking at your stalking you at your LinkedIn or even your Facebook. So share your, you know, your win to people, even if it's a small win. So Ng Wei Ming, don't forget Samantha is also watching you as well. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I hope that answers your question. Yeah, uh, Ng Wei Ming. Um, so Okay, thank you. So yes, um, Samantha, um, over here, I'm I'm scrolling through your LinkedIn as and when when you speak, so that I can pull out some interesting questions as well. Yeah. Now over here, I realized that your connections is lower compared to your followers, where your followers is higher. Should an individual, when they work on their LinkedIn page, should they work on their followers, uh, or should they work on their connection? What is the difference, and um, how should an individual go about with it? Um, it depends. If connection, they are able to look, they are able to be notified of your post. If followers just merely following you. So it depends to whether you want to keep in touch with them. Certain people, when they reach like, if I'm not mistaken, 10K or 30K maximum followers, the, the button there will be no longer connection, connect. It will turn to follow. So it depends to you know your direction, what you want to achieve. Either you want to really make connection, connect with the person, or you want them just to merely just follow you. And if you are following another person, you won't be able to receive notification as well. So it depends. So connection would be, if you are starting new, connection would be a better move. 
I would say. Awesome. So, um, so starting connection would be better uh, compared to followers, yeah? Okay, mm -hmm. so speaking about um, connection is better and people getting notification. Would you mind to share a little bit of insights about engagement? Because early on you were speaking about engagement. Um, what kind of post or what should you do with your, your page to grow your engagement? Because I believe LinkedIn is also monitoring what is your engagement like. If your engagement is low, your post will not uh, post up compared to some people that has a lot of uh, connection. So how to push um, your, your post um, much more visible? Does it have to do with uh, the engagement wise or what, what, what is it? Is there any tips for that? Um, before answering to this question, right, let me just add something to the previous question where uh, what's, the, what's the difference between connection and followers? Um, if you are aware, uh, there's this new feature in LinkedIn, which is called creator mode. So once, once you turn on the creator mode, right, your button will automatically turn to follow. It's no longer connection. So play around with it, I would say, experiment with it, do A-B testing. So to see which suits you better. Some of my connection actually turn on that creator mode, but the engagement itself become very low. So they turn off the creator mode. So you have to keep doing A-B testing for your own profile so that you know which one suits you better. And to answer to your engagement uh, question, um, if you are posting something like current issues or issue issues semester, that would be quite gathering quite high engagement. But I will also advise at the same time, suggest you to play it wisely and carefully because sometimes the current issue is not really there for us to, you know, just to post it up. For. It's okay if you have your own opinion, but you have to do it very uh, carefully, I would say. Um, and also, like what I mentioned earlier, what I shared earlier, share it from your feelings and your own uh, experience because no one will ever take that away from you if you're speaking from your own feelings and experience so when you are writing the comment uh, using your own feelings and personal experience somehow the post will resonate well with others so yes okay thanks for sharing on to that so samantha um Based by your answer, I have another uh, question as well, yeah? Um, so let's make it another two more. For all those who have another question, please put it into the comment section. We'll push your questions before mine. Okay, so let's uh, let's pick about engagement. And looking at LinkedIn, because I, I was doing a little bit of re research before, mm -hmm. um, how important is it to stay connected with your your connection how often should you post uh, should uh, should an individual like me comment onto other people's uh, comments um, uh, should i inbox personally inbox them you know uh, does this actually help to boost up my page or my mm -hmm. profile uh, what can it actually do for my my my, my linkedin uh, profile or page okay uh, if you're starting fresh starting new um, if you are sending the connection request to other people, always personalize your message to them because when you click connect, right, Link actually asks you, there is an option for you to, you know, add in personalized message. Don't leave it blank because it's a very good start for you to brand yourself, to introduce yourself, especially you are, if you're sending the connection to a CEO or a founder of a company that you really want to connect with. Don't leave the, the, the connection box that requests empty. Do a simple introduction like, hi, my name is Samantha. Um, I resonate very well with your current post. So before you send the connection, right, stop them a little bit. Do your homework, do your groundwork so that they can relate to your message better. And there's no issue for them to, you know, to approve your connection request, I believe. So always do your groundwork understand you know maybe just do a quick stop on your profile your linkedin profile why is their current two to three posts then you comment on that post before you send in the connection to them so when you comment on their post right people can actually 
that person connection, the circle of connection, can actually see your comment. And that's why just now when I mentioned the headline is important, in a glance, people will know, okay, Sam is with Subway. I am also a chapter lead for Google Business Group. So that headline is very, very important. So it doesn't matter if you get that headline or if you're not clear at the first place. Like I always say, do A-B testing. Um, I wasn't clear of even myself. I was in, in a dilemma when I first started LinkedIn. I do know, I do not know whether I want to like, you know, focus 100% on Subway or 50-50 with Google Business Group. So eventually when I post, right, I get to know myself better and the communicate engagement that I lead actually is a plus value to my current day job. So for you, for yourself, um, do, do the experiment, do the A-B testing so that you can figure out what's your branding in LinkedIn. Thanks for sharing on uh, on that, uh, Samantha. Okay, we have a question from Shaya. Yeah? Uh, Hi, Samantha. I would like to ask, as a fresh grad, how and what should I post in LinkedIn? Should I start with greetings? I, I think this is a very um, good question, Shai, uh, for, for me personally. And I would like to add on also another um, question uh, on top of um, Shai's question, yeah, mm -hmm. is what if individuals do not have content to post and we want to grow the engagement um, mm -hmm. that would be part two of shy um, mm. how, how how would you advise individual to may, maybe an individual like me to keep on posting on linkedin so that um, my trend is there or my recognition is there um there's actually a community group where me and Angela joined earlier on, it, which is called Popcorn. So in Popcorn, we are taught how to, you know, what kind of um, content that we can post, how we can figure out our content pillar, who is our target audience and things like that. Maybe after this, we can all get in touch, then I can send the link for you guys to join that free uh, linking authority group, that community group where we support each other, we comment with, uh, to each other's posts. And to answer to Shai's question, what and how should I start? Um, you have to ask yourself, Shai, what you want to be known of. If you are majoring in different costs, what you want people to know you of, like after finish studying, or even if you are not pursuing that same course for your career in future, you have to think, you have to ask yourself, like, for a while, you ask yourself, okay, am I uh, enjoying doing this? Is this, you know, you talk to your friends. Sometimes when you're in the circle, you're not aware, right? So talk to your family, your friends to, to know what is your strength. Your, you know, the thing that you can post is most, mostly are based on, my posting are most uh, based on the conversation with my franchisee. Like if they are asking, okay, Sam, how do I locate? How do I find a good business location? So I turn that into my content. So sometimes the daily conversation that strike between your colleague or your cosmic could be the post in your LinkedIn. And if you look back in my LinkedIn in the earlier days, right, you will find all those posts that not really gain a high engagement, but it's okay as long as you take the first step to start and eventually uh, when time passes, then you will you will discover yourself. You will know automatically what kind of post okay, I want to post today. And for a start, as a tips, um, post five days a week, Monday to Friday. Start with one post per day. Some of my um, collection in the community group, they post three posts per day every day, Monday to Sunday. So for a good start, Try Monday to Friday with one post first. So eventually, as time passes by, you will know what you want to post. It will come to you. Don't worry, Shai. Thanks, Samantha. I hope that answers your question, Shai. Yes, okay, I see her nodding. All right, uh, we, we have another comment from Angela. Um, at Popcorn, you also get some insight on how LinkedIn algorithm works as well. So um, Sam, you, you'll be sharing with us, um, I think, uh, will it be in general in the group chat or would you like us to reach out to you personally? Uh, 
In the group chat, no worries. Yes. In the group chat, ah, huh? yeah. okay, awesome. So we'll be looking forward for that links. Oh wow! So um, yes, um, for all those who are still in the group chat, um, huge shout out over to Prashant. Thank you so much for sharing that uh, URL for the Chrome extension. Yep, and also um, Samantha will be sharing uh with us later on onto yeah. the on link. Yeah. Yes, on the community group. Okay, great. So, uh. If once again for all those who have any questions, please kindly put it into the comment section. Yep. Or if you have any comments to add on as well or to add in, like Shai. Yep. Thank you so much for the answer and also Angela. Okay. Uh, one more question from me, um, Sam, is about let's speak about over here. Um, let's go with two things. Let's go with mm -hmm. posts since we are talking about posts. Yeah. I'm. Um, I can't recall whether if you did cover it during your session earlier on. Could you give an example, maybe by your past experience of your own personal post, of mm -hmm. a a post that that you consider as a bad post, and what is it a good post right now? Do you have a, a difference uh, to actually show? And with that bad post, how can a, an individual like myself improve on that? I don't think this this is such thing as a bad post because uh, everyone has their own thoughts ideas of what kind of content they want to put on LinkedIn. Um, yeah, there's no such thing as bad posts, but good posts would be a post that relate more to everyone, a general one, but at the same time, it will link back to you. Like, for example, if I post about the history of Subway, imagine that. <laughs> some would be interested, but some would find it boring. So, there's no such thing as bad post to me. Just keep posting until you figure out that, okay, this is the post that people like to read from me because the engagement is quite high. The reaction, the likes, you know, the, the heart shape, the love emoji is high. So keep posting until you figure out what is you know, the best content for yourself because everyone of us here are from different backgrounds. So we are posting different things and then value to different community. So keep posting until you figure that out. Yeah. Okay. So uh, to take note, there is no bad post. Uh, the most important thing is content and also to have uh, whatever that you have uh, that relates back towards you. Yeah. Okay, great. So let's speak about um, an elaboration, especially about I see over here on your LinkedIn post uh, or on your LinkedIn profile, you have skill and endorsements and you have mm -hmm. recommendations. Mm -hmm. Yep. And also you have accomplishments or probably interest. How important is like skill endorsement and recommendations? What could it actually benefit you for? Okay. For recommendation, of course, uh, if you could have people, other people to recommend you, to write you a recommendation, that would, of course, help you to add more credit, right? When people view your post, okay, actually, Samantha has already uh, worked or collaborated with this person, such, such uh, organization. So if you can get recommendation from people, that would be a plus point for your profile. And uh, of course, when you ask, you have to, you know, you have to give it back. Like you have to like recommend people as well for their, for their uh, effort, for their skills. Say, for example, if they provide you a free 15 minutes call, then why not just, you know, to give back, write them a good recommendation so that it helps to add credit to the profile as well. So for recommendation, you can, if you are aware in LinkedIn, right, you can actually see the number of given and received for recommendation. So try to balance out between that two because if you are keep re receiving recommendation but the one that you're given is low, that actually says something about you as so well. Indirectly, yeah. Daniel, you're muted. Daniel, you're muted. Oh, okay. So, so sorry. <laughs> okay. Yes. I, I was just sharing the page uh, to show you that I'm still on your LinkedIn page. And um, what, what I shared was more towards like the receive and also given mm -hmm. um, the segment. Okay. But let's touch on to skill and endorsement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
uh, how how should people endorse you or why should mm-hmm. you put over there uh, why why do you want to put up your skill and endorsement up okay um like i mentioned earlier you when you already have the clarity of what people you want others to know you of right so okay so when is a go-to person for so if franchise is a she's good in leadership she's good in marketing she's good in entrepreneurship put the top three skills in your profile so that people when they you know visit your profile they are able to endorse you right away without like you know scrolling you are, you are making your life easier instead of you know have to scroll here and there so put the top three skills that you want people to endorse you in your profile page in your profile in your linkedin profile will that help um, people to search you uh, for you better i would say it will definitely add credit to yourself for example if daniel i endorse you for training right imagine uh 50 endorsement for training versus someone who has less so that would actually speak something also for your profile so endorsement is important uh, recommendation is important of course and the skills also quite important because um, nowadays, it's not what your company are able to provide you. It's how you are able to provide value to your company and your colleague. So yes, that three things is actually quite important in your profile. But don't worry. Take your time to really start, to really take the first step. I believe, you know, as and when you are doing it, you will figure out it very soon. Or if you need a LinkedIn profile, uh, just a process to go through, just ping me in WhatsApp. I'm in the WhatsApp group. So just let me know how I can be of help. Or because I already went through this journey, right, together with Angela in our popcorn community. So we know some of them are really struggling on how to start, on what kind of posts that we want to post almost every day and things like that. So just keep in touch with us, just PM us after this. Okay, awesome. Uh, I just realized I'm muted again. <laughs> okay, all right. So shall we have uh, one fan around for all those who have any questions? We are gonna, just going to leave it up for the next 30 seconds. Yep. I believe Edward just raised. Oh, I believe yeah. Edward just raised. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay, this is... Uh, what about those LinkedIn uh, for personal? Do they uh, have such thing as somebody uh, engaged uh, to just do for them? Yes, of course. Yeah. I'm one of them. <laughs> yes, oh. yes, of course. Yeah. yeah. Um, previously, I was not in the FMB line. Mm. I was in the digital marketing line where I handle LinkedIn profile for a very, very prestige company. Mm-hmm. So yes, you can actually hire people to help you manage your company profile in LinkedIn as well. Okay. Mm. Thank you. So huge shout out to everyone. If you're too lazy to do your LinkedIn, you can always hire Samantha. <laughs> okay, so um, we will go for the next um, 30 seconds for anyone has any other questions. Yep, to make it not that awkward, I'm going to put on some background music so the room will not be that quiet for the next 30 seconds. Next 30 seconds, after that, we can take a group photo. Yes, yeah. thank you for reminder. Samantha, yep. you are from Taiping. Eh? Yes. You are convent or TMGS? Convent. <laughs> convent, eh? okay. <laughs> I'm from Taiping. Wow. Nah. Okay. I'm from the Tiger. Ah. Ah, he's, he's, the, my rival is the Georges. Nah. <laughs> wow, okay, let's... So sorry for interrupting. Um, let's just do for the final 10 seconds. Do, does anyone have any final question? Going in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2 and a half, 2 and 1 quarter, <laughs> 1. Uh, hi, Angela. Yes, okay, finally. Angela, we would love to get you on uh, one day if we the time actually fits. Uh, hopefully, you can come in to share with us something about habits and uh, 
for habits uh, itself, maybe you can share with us a little bit about your profile later on as well, yeah? And I got to know Samantha through Angela, actually. Yes. yes. <laughs> Make friends with Angela. Yep. So if you'd like to know more about uh, habits and all, you can reach out to us, Angela. Angela, I've added you into the group as well. Okay, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, just our formality, we would love to continue to see your faces and remember who you guys are. So I would like to encourage you to kindly please switch on your cameras if it's possible. Yep, just for a very quick one, let's take a very quick group photo. Just a quick photo, would that be okay? All right, we'll just give another uh, 10 seconds for some uh, such as uh, Jovita, uh, Jichun, Erdrina. Yep, if we could get your cameras on and also Prashan. If we could, we really much appreciate to uh, see your faces. Okay, all right. Um, Let's just see whether if we could get a picture. Okay, great. Uh, Michael, if you don't mind also, uh, could you just help to take a, a, a picture on for us as well? If you don't mind. Michael, Mike Cheong. <laughs> Sorry, Mike Cheong. Okay, all right, great. So what we are going to do is that we are going to take a quick picture in... Um, we'll do two types. Yeah. One is the serious, like formal manner, and then later on we'll take one which is um, a little bit much more of a fun side. So that this could be your first post to post on LinkedIn as well if you do not have any content. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a quick picture in one, two, three. Oh. oh. I just missed out Jovita. Jovita, yes. Okay. Huh? One, two, three. Okay. And I'm going to post it up into the group chat over here for our first one. Okay. Could we do one which is more of a fun one? Yep. A fun one. Freestyle. A little bit freestyle. In five, four, three, Two, one. Okay. Oh, all right. Yes. Awesome. Great. So we will post up all the photos. I'm um, over on our WhatsApp group chat. Uh, Michael is also helping us to take uh, pictures as well. Okay. All right. Great. Okay, Mike. Okay. Forward message here. And yes, so thank you all so much for joining us. We do have a few uh, very quick uh, snippets for each and every one of you. Uh, stay tuned over for next month. We will be having another session. Um, another awesome speaker uh, oh, uh, who is a... Um, a personal friend of mine who is also a content writer and also a digital marketer as well. Her name is none other than Geraldine. Yep, she'll be coming to share with you on how to hit um, goals how to smash goals so we'll be talking about goal setting the following month we have someone coming over i'm still trying to finalize the dates it might not be on a wednesday yep but we are gonna speak about this assessment so i had some people that were talking about this personality so especially for all those who wants to improve on communicating or even in sales attend also for the this assessment on how to create a uh, using the this personality yeah after that let's tr let me try to speak uh to angela and see whether if she can come in to speak something about habits and how to work out a strategic plan as well yeah so once again guys if you have any um opportunity for to share we are not just open for coach or trainers if you have uh, experience that you'd like to share with the audience do let us know reach out to us into the group chat as well yeah okay so let me just do a very quick sharing over here before we wrap up everything for all those who are just listening to so we've already completed our part three over here and what we're gonna do is that we are gonna move on towards um, over here where we have uh, some quick short announcements and also updates so we have um, earlier on our president who missed out her sharing session so uh, president would you like to actually share a little bit pressure uh, president manisha to do uh, maybe some updates announcements and also some closing hello 
Good evening, everyone. Hi, Manisha. Yeah. Uh, hello, I'm Manisha, the 2021 Apex Club of Penang President. Uh, Apex Club of Penang is a non-profit organization. Uh, we aim to help the community with team, uh, community with by heart and empowerment through entrepreneurship. So I hope this workshop get you all better understanding of how personal branding work in uh, linking uh, in a personal way. Uh, thank you all of you attending this uh, workshop tonight. Uh, and I want to thank you, Samantha, also to sharing uh, her knowledge uh, with us tonight. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, Daniel? Yes, uh, yes, I would. Okay, I also like to invite uh, our national president uh, for joining uh, tonight. So if you may want to speak a short message. Uh, Kana? Uh, thank you. Thank you, PNP Edward Mai. Thank you, Manisha Lin. A great job, uh, Apex Club of Penang. Uh, fantastic job. Big clap for you. Uh, Samantha, very nice, uh, very well put. Um, though I'm not a very, uh, what do you call, IT savvy person. Uh, I am, in, I am in LinkedIn, but uh, not a regular user. All right. So for all those who joined today, um, um, you know, I hope you had a, a, what you call a wonderful session by receiving all this information. Um, please uh, hang on to Apex Club of Penang. Please love Apex Club of Penang. Okay. And I'm sure I know Apex Club is, uh, Penang is uh, coming up with a lot of uh, programs, you know, which will be very useful to uh, the uh, enterprising youth of uh, these days. So the majority of uh, uh, the members taking part today is from Penang. Okay. Happy to see a lot of young faces, you know, fantastic, you know. Uh, no wonder uh, Edward is always keeping young. <laughs> it's just fantastic. Uh, I have to learn from him. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Daniel, great job emceeing the whole event. Um, and uh, again, congratulations to Apex Club of Penang, and thank you to everyone who attended. Thank you very much. Thank you, MP, for, for your comments and also for sharing. Yes, so Samantha gave a comment over here. Maybe Google Business Group can also collaborate with Apex Club of Penang to bring more value to entrepreneurs. That would be awesome as well. And uh, let, let's see how we can also link up as well. Uh. So Samantha, I'll be keeping in contact and in touch with you uh, for that as well. Yeah. Okay, great. So um, over here is, um, yep. So do not forget to hit that like and follow button on Facebook. Yeah. Um, and also you can also find us on LinkedIn. Yeah. And also at the same time, do not forget just these three things is that at the end of the day, due to the whole entire pandemic and all, we would like you to continue to network, upskill yourself and also stay safe. Now, guys, um, of course, there again, today my site is a little bit basic, but uh, if you guys would like to join a public program happening on to this weekend, I'll be doing a presentation uh, deck and also on to virtual training on how to upskill yourself and by bring your presentation to life. So I will be posting it up into our group chat as well so keep tuned on to that if you like to take part in that just uh, register for it yeah okay great so last but not least we would like to see you guys in our future coming programs do not forget our next session next month share it with your friends if you're looking to smash goals to set goal settings and all join us next month the following month we will be talking about this personality and the fourth month i'm trying to hint to angela we'll try to get you to see to join in on how to do some habit changes because she is none other than the habit strategies uh, and coach as well okay so Everyone, if you like to just stay on uh, to do a quick business uh, or quick networking with everyone else, you can always do so. Otherwise, feel free that you can step away from today's session. And on behalf of everyone in the Apex Club of Penang, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Bye, everyone.
everyone. Thank you for joining me tonight. Thank you, FX Club, for having me. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Sam. Thank you.